Dr. Jupy, you're still alive! <gasps> oh, my best friends. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah. Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. Oh, you're so good at these. I wish I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? Oh boy, this is a hard one. Please hurry up, my family could be dying. Wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy. I've decided that if my family is dead, I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't talk me out of it. This is what love does to a person. Don't feel bad if it takes you a while. It's tough, right? This puzzle takes you a while, but I also want to a good team. <laughs> you know how hard it is. Thank God. Do you know how hard it is to solve a fucking puzzle with a hangover? Well, shit. D does that mean he's... Huh? I, I feel pretty stupid right about now. He was fucking with us. We got played. Look at us. We got played. We fell for it. Damn it! Look who's here. I'm nice and loose. <laughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> I was never Dr. Jupy. There is no Dr. Jupy. Are you shocked, you idiot? <laughs> you fucking moron! what you are. <laughs> You never once suspected your helpless little friend, Dr. Jupy, was actually hiding his true identity. Ha! It's not even people like you that get killed by smart geniuses right like now! Fuck 
Yeah, that's definitely the stuff. Oh, now that felt good. He had some very nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh! Ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian. Smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Douglas, it's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas. Get excited and get your fucking shit together. Okay, yeah, fuck that. Oh, shit. I think that's a photo of the famous dude who invented translator microbes. Why the fuck does he know Douglas? You wanna fuck these guys up? can do great perfect now hurry and cross before it wears off incredible right what a thrill you know you can use that time bubble on the g3 too and try loading the bubble up with my crystals then you'll see why i'm we're gonna make a good team, I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlians. So what's next? You turned in the bounty somewhere? Go do that, we can wrap this up. Kid, another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. <laughs> All right, good. Get over here. Ooh, he's in intensive care. That's Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman. Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. 
I'll be the first to admit we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch us next bit. It's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you. They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Geesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Club's expecting you. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Wow, that, that, that's really helpful. You're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Oh, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You want it come or what? All right, I 
get it. You know, you don't, you don't want my alien come. Okay, you signed to the way. Power sliding. Hey, where are you going? Hey, you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh... Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, well, let's, let's just give Gene the update. Jorb. Now, I know I hate to be pushy, but can you get your grubby hands off that phone and do some inventory before the end of the day? Not interested. Oh, well, you know, I told your mom I'd make sure you took this job seriously. That's nice, Pop. Come on, Jorb. You're embarrassing me in front of the customer. Oh, yeah? You think that's embarrassing? Hey, you, guess what? My dad over there won an award for having the world's smallest dick in space. Hey, come on now! It's true, too. I'm being 100% serious. He's still got the trophy. He keeps it in the back. Well, I happen to be very proud of my tiny little penis and the award I... Thanks for your business. Don't buy anything else. Thanks! God, I hate giving this stuff up. Welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on. We're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. I hope you enjoy your food. <laughs> nice moves! Would you chill out? They don't need to die. Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. 
perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Klug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I... Hey, good night, partner. I'm just going to sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I, think, I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry. I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack bro. Not talk for a little bit, I'll just stand here. Oh, check out that landing, goddamn! Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. We have Nike, let's use them. It's just uh, standing here being boring. Stop trying to kill everyone, Jesus. Before Tweed gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never. Hold up, I don't want to go yet. Uh, as I was saying. Don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. Well, you're off having fun doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself. Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. I've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant, and then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Gene I can date whoever I want. 
Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. <laughs>